What's up guys, welcome to AB Auto. Now today we're gonna to be looking at eight reasons why I think the C43 should be your first AMG. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't worry, always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Now, if you're new to AMG or performance cars, you're going to want something you can handle. The C43 comes with some great features and a good amount of preset drive modes. Slippy is designed for wet or icy roads. Comfort is your bread and butter cruise mode. Sport is comfort mode with a bit more oomph. And then we have Sport Plus, and that's where the real fun begins. You can also set up your own unique driving profile using the individual config. Here you can adjust the drive, the transmission, the suspension, the exhaust system, and you can even turn off the traction control. This car also comes with all the AMG bells and whistles. As standard, you get AMG ride control with adaptive dampers. At the flick of a button using the center console down here, you can adjust the suspension from Sport, Sport Plus, or even Comfort. It really changes the handling of the car and it's a really good AMG specific feature. If you start down from comfort, each mode gets progressively stiffer and the steering becomes a lot more responsive. On the road, you're gonna feel right at home as soon as you drive the C43, because for an AMG, it's extremely accessible. It's happy to cruise along comfortably, but when you put your foot down, it turns into an absolute animal. Even though it can be a bit of an animal, you can always have trust in the C43. Um, it's got all the emotion of a traditional AMG, but it's not gonna bite back and try to kill you. There's also the tremendous four wheel drive system, but we're gonna talk about that later in this video. So all in all, the C43 is a fantastic car to go at your own pace and learn the world of performance cars, especially AMG. Now, the C43 is not a cheap car by any means, but for AMG standards, it's actually pretty affordable. Let's compare it now to its bigger cousin, the C63S. The C63 Saloon, for example, costs up to 20 grand more than the C43. The C43 also comes with a lot of good things as standard, but it is a Mercedes after all, and they've always got some really tempting optional extras, and you'll soon add them all in and hit the 60K mark. So if you're new to Mercedes AMG, the C43 is likely to have all the power, all the fun, all the gadgets you're gonna need in your first AMG. The C43 AMG comes with all the practical features you'd find in a normal C-Class. It's also not as extreme as some of the more track-focused AMGs like the C63S, so you actually get a pretty comfortable ride inside the cabin too. If we jump into the back here, you can see there's tons of space. I mean, I've got my child seat here, plenty of legroom, plenty of space all around. The boot is decent here too on the saloon model. Got my camera back there, fits all my equipment, but just look at all this space. The economy is impressively practical too. I mean, if you grandma this car, you could hit 35 mile per gallon. But let's face it guys, that's never gonna happen. You're more likely to get between 20 and 25 mile per gallon, which is what I average. Um, that's a mixture of comfort mode, but obviously we have the Sport Plus fun as well, and that's what kind of pushes it down, but it's totally worth it. Now let's talk about power. So with the facelift model, you get a whopping 390 brake horsepower, and that's 520 newton meters of torque. It feels quick too, and with its formatic system, it launches off the line like nothing. MercedesAMG.com gives it a conservative 4.7 0 to 60 time, but we tested it here on AB Auto, and we did it in 4.2 seconds. AMGs have an impressive presence on the road. When you drive an AMG, you're the predator and the other cars are your prey. The C43 does a great job at looking aggressive on the road. I mean, just look at this rear. You've got these four quad exhausts and you've got this massive, menacing, sporty, aggressive rear diffuser. I just love it. It also shares some great features from its bigger brother, the C63, like these brake calipers here at the front. I've painted mine here in this orangey bronze color and I think it really pops against the blue. I simply love it. What do you guys think? You also get black mirrors and window trim as standard. But all in all, I think this car has a great road presence. People get really excited when they see this car. I've lost count of the amount of times people have approached me just to talk about it. 
Okay, so now let's talk about sound, the heart of an AMG. Now, AMGs always sound amazing, and the C43 is no exception. Spec the optional AMG performance exhaust, and you're gonna be laughing with joy every time your foot hits the floor. The biggest difference between the optional AMG performance exhaust and the one you get standard is when you're in Sport Plus, if you accelerate and let go of the accelerator, you get these lovely burbles and cracks and pops. And obviously, you know, it's a bit louder too. You've got the active valves, and it makes bigger pops and bangs when you're driving at high speeds, high acceleration, all the good stuff. So like I mentioned, you get this active valve exhaust button here in the dash as well. And this button is actually pretty effective. If you want a nice quiet drive and you're driving along, the exhaust is a bit loud, just press this button down here and you'll notice immediately a huge difference between the volume of the exhaust. One interesting thing too about the flaps is at stock, they only open 100% when your RPM reaches over 3000. I believe Mercedes have done this because they want the car to be a bit more quieter at low RPMs when you're driving slowly. But hey, this is AV Auto, so of course we found a way around this. If you want to open the flaps up 100%, you can do it using an ASR module, which is controlled by this little key fob here. Now I have a whole video series on the ASR module. I have a test, I have an installation video. I'll put everything you need to know about the ASR module up here. And also check out the description of this video. I'll link all the videos I have on it. The next reason why I think the C43 is the perfect first AMG is the awesome 4 drive system. What's great about this system is it puts 70% of the power to the rear of the car. That means you get that awesome knock back in your seat feeling when you accelerate. It feels like a rear wheel drive car, but it's got all the traction and performance of a four wheel drive car. My absolute favorite thing about the 4 system is just how well it performs in all seasons and all weathers. If you're stuck driving on rainy roads, like here in the UK most of the time, it's great. You just never need to hold back. The power is there, the traction's there. You can literally just floor it off a roundabout in the rain and the car won't bite back. I honestly can't express enough just how much more fun it is when you've got that power available all the time. Now, I know there's lots of purists out there and some people like that bite back. They like a little bit of play in the car, but we're talking about our first AMG here. That's why the C43 is the perfect first AMG, because it does all this so well. Okay, so this one's both a sad one and a good one. If you're in the loop in the AMG world, then you know the big engines are dying out. I mean, just look at the C63S, which is coming this year. I mean, it's gonna have a four cylinder engine, a four cylinder engine and a C63S. I mean, if you to told someone that 10 years ago, they'd laugh in your face. But this is also a reason why the C43 is such a great car at the moment. I mean, it's not got the glorious V8 that you find in the C63S, but it's still got a really good and capable V6. Now, time is only gonna tell if the new 63S with the four cylinder electric assisted engine is gonna be any good. I mean, I have all my faith in AMG because AMG always usually deliver, and I think it's gonna probably be a really good car, but I don't think it's ever gonna capture that true essence of the original AMGs, which is a V8 engine. Now, I do feel like I need to address the elephant in the room, and that is, of course, that the V6 in the C43 is not a traditional one-man hand-built engine from AMG. It's actually a Mercedes production engine that's been tampered with and tuned by AMG. The thing is, yes, it is a shame that it's not a one-man hand-built engine, and I would love a little plaque on my engine to tell me that it was built by whoever. But to be honest, for me, it's all about the drive and the feel, and this engine feels fantastic. It revs nice and high, it responds really quickly, it's good at the top end. It's pretty much everything I want in a V6. Of course, you've got the sounds too. It sounds incredible. We've heard that already in this video. I'll let you hear it again. Now for me, that just never gets old. What do you guys think? Now I know I show the exhaust a lot in this car, but it just never gets old. If we look at the comfort too, I mean, this engine is a comfortable engine. I mean, you put it in comfort mode and it just cruises along. You know, it keeps steady. It doesn't rev too high. It's really just a fantastic engine all around. So that's it guys. That's my eight reasons why I think the C43 is the perfect first AMG. So if you're in the market for an AMG, you should definitely check out the C43 right here. I also really want to hear what you guys think too. I mean, do you think the C43 is the best first AMG? I mean, we've got lots of other cars out there. You've got the A35, which is a great first entry into the AMG. Not quite as good or as crazy as the C43, but it's a good first start. There's also other models too, like the A45, the A45S. I think the A45S is even more extreme than the C43, but you don't have that V6. 
So guys, make sure to post in the comments and let me know what you think. I love to hear from everyone. I try to reply to all my comments, but for now, I'll see you guys next time.